the first thing I do is I go and like, you know, I let the dogs out. I do my injections to start the day. That way I do them before I've ate or anything like that. Um, and then I'll just start getting the ball rolling. I'll start getting on social media, start doing the posts there, start looking at DMs, all that stuff. Then getting to my personal email, start going through there, doing the CEO stuff and all that good stuff. Um, and then, you know, carrying on with the day. Like Sharice is getting the operations all together and getting all the girls situated what they need to do that day. And then kind of planning out and looking at the schedule, what we have to accomplish today. So, I mean, I've been training a little bit earlier. So I got my training earlier today, which is really nice. Um, I've been trying to focus on getting it done in the morning. You've been my role model for this one and my, my, my muse per se, uh, where it's been like, Hey, listen, if I can get this done, I don't have to worry about it later because you know, it's always in my mind. I'm like, damn, I got to get this in. And she's like, Oh, I want to go here. I'm like, all right, I'm not, I'm not going to wait around. I'm just going to go do it. And then at that point, if you want to go, I'll go a second time. That's the thing with me. Like, and the same way with you, like we don't not like the gym. Like I like that area. I'll go there and just get a little pump. I'll just watch you. I'll, I'll, you know, so I'm good with that. I'm good with that anytime, any, you know, any day. So there's some people that absolutely, they don't want to go to the gym. They don't want to step in there and then they have to, it's like uh, pulling teeth, you know, to get them to do what they need to do. So yeah, I mean, uh, it's been, a, it's been a great day for me. Like I said, I feel like I've accomplished so much when you wake up early and you start doing all these things, and there's still enough, ain't enough time of the day for me and you, I guarantee it, but you do accomplish a lot more by let's say 12 o'clock. And that's something for like people been at work maybe two, three hours, you know, maybe four tops if they got their 8 a.m. And, you know, they've done part of that day. Like you really just knocked out like a majority of your stuff in the morning. It leaves time to do all the different things that you need to do if you're not working or whatever it is. If you have a nine to five, I don't know. So I, I made a, a, a switch on some things. I, I made a switch. And this is both, both because of you, my man. Um, I, I, we went to... Uh, we took a week and we went to Mona's other house yes. and I just relaxed. I still trained, but I didn't yeah. do much uh, work. I let the team handle that. I didn't, uh, I would just say, I didn't compartmentalize. And, and Jeff nice. is here right now and he will say, because I'll, I'll, I'll ADD his ass all day. Oh, yeah. And I'll give him a task and not two minutes later, I'll give him a second task or a different task and take care of that task and then go back to this task. Oh, by the way, make a note of this task and then go <laughs> shut down, complete went down. And then I also did a second thing um, as I'm moving forward is that I, I, I use social media differently. Um, and, and it's cool because uh, one thing that I think a lot of us get sucked up on social media is uh, we get caught up in the the hype of who's right, who's wrong, whose training principles are good, whose training principles are bad. Let me do a response to this. Oh my gosh! Um, and so I'm curious on you that's running this company and and doing all this and doing everything that you do the the charities, the events, the the, the, the employees. You have so much. How do you use social media in a beneficial way for you and your business? Um, and do you use it for personal? Uh, do you talk to your friends through there? If you can give me a gist on this, because I think there's a lot of stuff that we can save time on sure. and frustration on um, because sure. of what's going on just in the world as is. Yeah. So uh, for business purposes, I mean, social media is an essential. It really is. Even if you don't like it, you never liked it, you don't want to be on it. Your business has to be on it. It does. They've got you locked in like these big social media companies and stuff like that. It's, it's a necessity because majority of people are on one platform or the other. And this is where it comes to, you want to be as, on as many platforms as you possibly can. And if you look at it and if you're a realtor or you know anything about real estate, we know that real estate doesn't, you, you can't make up new real estate. Once a piece of land is sold, that piece of land is sold. And the internet is the exact same way where it's digital uh, land right? And you get this land. And if you can get land for free, that's a, that's a home run. You're and, advertising for free. Why would you not do it? I mean, well, I don't understand why, but you know, and, and people don't get it and they're like, Oh, I have to do this or I have to interact and all that. Well, no, there's some certain things you're going to have to do. I mean, you can get somebody to manage your profile, you know, and I'm not saying everybody has to go out and be a social media whiz, but you should definitely be creating your own page. I mean, that's pretty simple and easy. What what you guys do and all this, and now it's available when somebody else looks. And then don't even just think about the social media platform aspect of it. Think about the SEO aspect. And if you don't know what that is, that's search engine optimization. 
And what happens is, is when you have these different locations on the internet, when somebody types in maybe verbiage that's all through your text or your name, it's going to pop up on, you know, basically the results. And then people can really find what, what you're they're doing, whether it's hormone placement therapy, they typed in and we popped up after the sponsored ads. I mean, this, this is something that, you know, you're, you're going to get a lot of benefit from, and it's good. It's a revolving door. So it's all connected. All the internet is connected, whether you have videos on YouTube, social, like Facebook, Instagram, uh, TikTok, X, uh, LinkedIn. That was another one that I talked to somebody today. Cause they came up to me in the gym. They said, how do you do your advertising? Because I, I see you're all over. Like, what do you think would be the best thing? And, and every industry is kind of different of what you want to target and who you want to target and everything like that. So, you know, I basically told him because, you know, he was getting, he wants referrals, um, you know, from doctors from personal injury accidents. I'm like, well, LinkedIn's going to be your way to go because you're going to want to target doctors because doc doctors are the one that refer their patients out to people like you. So, uh, you know, I don't know. It's just, it's crazy. So you, I, I definitely think that people should be, even our kids. And I know you did a great job with Titans right now because, like, he's already got so many followers. I mean, you've already built, he's five years old and he only has a page that's built interacting and you set that up for him for peter i didn't set him up for him i know he's on there now and now i'm going to dial him in on his social media because the the recruiters want to see these guys in videos yep. i mean you know so you know this is a documentation and you know for me like i said business is, is an essential thing personal i used to share a lot more on, on there um i do share a lot on there still because i want to document some of these different things that i do and i can always look back at them. i mean it's awesome every day i wake up and i look at the memories on each page and it always brings you back, whether it's a work memory. I'm like, man, I remember we had to get over this problem. We did this or, you know, it's a family memory, you know, of me and Peter and Sharice or, you know, my dad or whatever it is. So it, it brings up good feelings, too, as well. And you might have some of them that aren't good memories that they bring up, too. But it makes you remember and you won't make that mistake, hopefully, again. But, <laughs> um, yeah, you know, I mean, so, but yeah, for, for, for personal, like, I try to stay half and half. Like, I don't want to put everything out there for everybody. I don't need them knowing everything in my life, but I'll, I'll document the good stuff uh, with the family and all that other stuff. You know, I, I think it's a good way. It's a good way to get out to your friends or family members or people that haven't seen you in real life in a long time. I keep up with a lot of people on social media and I don't get to talk to them on the phone or anything like that. So when I see them, I have some conversation with them. and people do this to me and I'm sure they do it to you all the time. You have no idea who these people are. I've never been in your life. And they know everything about you. It's like, damn, like, hey, I seen you here. I was like, oh, wow. So, you know, it's uh, it's it, it's it's a it's a thin line, I guess. You know, I, I, you do. I wish you would on on your personal put down more. And, and there's two things. And I think anybody that's listening. And, and like he said, I, I started, uh, we started a page for Titan and, and a Facebook for Titan. Um, and if you're like, well, no, I don't want my kid's face out there and stuff. And that's a big Hollywood thing. They don't do that. And I'm like, that's fine. Then just put it on private. Yeah. But it's a, again, to me, it's a scrapbook. Oh yeah. And then on top of that, uh, it, it's, you do so many fun things. And so it's fun for us to look back just yeah. Titan is just five and, and we're yeah. just looking back to the last four or five years. And it's like, yeah. there's such great memories to it. Um, and how can that set him up for the future? I have no idea. I have yeah. no clue, but at least there's an attempt to help have a platform for him. And uh, uh, what's fun right now is anytime somebody beats his ass in wrestling or in jujitsu or in karate, yeah. they go, I, I beat up the, I beat up the uh, popular guy, Titan. <laughs> So it's already started. So I love that aspect of it. And, and, and uh, uh, yeah, just the memories itself. But you, I noticed one thing, because we have the Titan medical page. That's where all the Titans go over there and, and see what's going on and what's what's going on this week. What's the big event? But yeah. your personal life is really fun and exciting. And I think if, if and this is just me and you talking here, if yeah. you a lot of stuff on there they will see and i think a similar thing happens to me in a way but they'll go holy cow this guy is really enjoying and living life 
because they don't know all the fun stuff that you do and no. where you go. And all. it's, it's like, I love it. You make me tired watching you. <laughs> so it's like, I, I, I want to hang out more, but man, I'd be, I got to go take my nap now. It's, <laughs> it's, it's eight o'clock. I'm going home to go to the hotel or whatever. And Johnny's and, and the missus and the little ones, they're still going. Oh man. I, I will start documenting some more stuff on there. It's just, you know, it's, it's, uh, I don't know. It's uh you know, it's just a, it's a thing, I guess. I mean, you know, you're going to get love and hate, I guess, in both realms on that when you start showing things like that. And I really don't care. It is what it well, is. This is a perfect transition. You will get love and hate, but what do you do with that? Take the love and you're the hate, man. I mean, that's what I, I do as far as that goes. I mean, I definitely, I definitely want to build up my, my personal page a little bit more as far as Instagram goes. I, I kind of put that on the, the, the back burner as far as, you know, posting on it and stuff like that. So I'm going to start taking more, uh, more responsibility in posting on my personal page. So people can see some of the different stuff. There's a lot of cool, crazy things that go on and not to say that I don't get the footage guys. It's just, I don't have time to upload. I got all the footage. Trust me. I mean, you know, that's one thing I do video record a lot and I've got a lot of different equipment that I use. So, you know, even on the family trips and stuff like that, like, so I, I'm lucky enough to have my own production in-house in Titan Medical Center. And at that point, like I get all the footage and I'll have them edit it out like a, a nice little trip, you know, or video of that trip. And it's just, it's awesome. Like, and I keep this forever. I'm like, now I know. Like our trip to New York is all documented. It's all in a beautiful, pretty video. Vacations, beautiful, pretty video. So, you know, I, I think that's, yeah, I think it's awesome. You know, like I said, me and you uh, documenting these things and having these memories for, forever is really, really what I care about, I guess. And, uh, yeah, like I said, I used to post a lot on social media and kind of slow down on my personal. So keep back to I'll, it. I'll, I'll get back on what it. I see. I want them to see what I see that you don't just run this company. Uh, it really, the way you set yourself up in life is that the company is its own animal and it's running. Yes. It needs the captain that leads the ship and stuff. For sure. and it's running pretty good to where you go a hey, done now we're doing this. Now we're going yeah. family vacation. Hey, uh, Peter's got a game where you, you shut it down and move. Yeah. And and to see you do that so decisively, to me, I love that because then we go back to uh, what's true success. Mm -hmm. Well, true success is having fun. Right. <laughs> Being happy every day that you wake up. And Absolutely. you're somebody that really does that. And so I, I know people are going to say yeah. stuff when you go out to the racetrack with the, the McLaren and stuff yeah. like that. There's yeah. It because is what it is. be a whole nother side of people looking at that going, wow, that's cool. It's cool yeah. that he, 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 at one point, and everybody knows this, at one point, you didn't have the money. No. And you said, Definitely. forget it. I'm, I'm jumping. I'm not yeah. going to go do this or work for something. I'm jumping. It's yeah. us. Us yeah. versus the world. And you did it. And so yeah. I think it's cool when you're taking those laps. And you're not just taking those laps in the McLaren for yourself, but it's for all those people that go, I'm going to do this on my own and make it. Yeah. So yeah. For me to you, man, that's motivation. Thanks, man. That's, that's I appreciate it. Thanks, Mike. Thank you. I'll, I'll definitely do it, man. Yeah. I, listen, I like to motivate a lot of people. And a lot of people always come up to me, you know, it's, it's just all, it's, it's positive, you know? So it just, it is what it is. You know, I like to, I don't want anybody to think of me in a different light. I'm a very humble person as far as that goes. Yes. I've got some nice cars. I've got some nice things along the way, but I worked really hard for these things. Nothing was given to me or Sharice. Uh, still nothing's given to us. You know, I, I never went to anybody and say, Hey, listen, I need to get a loan. I need to get a loan for my business or I need to get a loan for this or do that. I mean, I just banged it out. I mean, it is what it is. And not everybody can do that, you know, and some businesses you need capital in the front end. I totally understand that too. So, you know, I, I think that if anybody really wants it, they'll get it. If anybody really, really wants it. I think there's a whole part of, of, of you that they don't get to see that I get to see that's really cool because it's even though you're doing what you're doing like I told everybody here you know he, he shuts down he goes out there but he's also going through there's uh, what do they say those cliches uh you got to enjoy the rain as you're moving through to get to the sunshine and it's not like everything's perfect right now no definitely not you know, you, your definitely dad is not. dealing with something you just had to do something that breaks my heart about yeah. your pop uh, yeah. so but you keep you do what you have to do uh, you, if you, you know, and then you, you move forward and move forward. So I think it's just a real cool aspect. And I only thought of that as I'm sitting here watching you going, these people don't know how hard you work. 
Yeah, people, they only see the results. They see those fancy videos and they think that that's what we're doing all day, right? Like we're just doing, I, I, I wish. If I did something like that all day, like it was all those videos all day like that, that would be my, I mean, I'm living my dream right now doing what I do, but that would be, I mean, that was ultimate. If I could get paid, you know, a big amount of money just to create content for Titan Medical Center, that'd be a home run too, right? I mean, you know what I mean? Or anything we're doing. That's right? crazy. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know, so I mean, I, I love what I do. And I, I, you know, I love helping people. I think, you know, I think that if you do the right thing, that's when good things come. You know, and if you do the right thing, good things will come your way. So, you know, I think that that's a, it's a big point for everybody out there. Do the right thing, even though the wrong, the right thing might be the hardest thing you ever do. So jumping back just for a second, you said, yeah, you're going to get love and hate. And social media is incredible because uh, you get to see, I don't know, for me, it's like, I, I'm a, my, if you go to my search page, it's going to be tons of Huskies. Uh, on my search because I, I just watch dog videos on there a lot of the times. Um, but I get to see that kind of stuff, but I also get to interact with people that I probably could never meet that mm -hmm. are similar to me, which is a great mm -hmm. aspect of it. But then you also get the other side of it. Like you said, you're going to get the, the hate, you're going to get the, the negativity and stuff like that. But I think like you agree with this statement is that it, it you're living your life. You're having a blast. Yeah. And so if somebody else is coming in and saying anything negative, they're just going from their point of view on that. The, yeah. the other day, somebody goes, because we just finished up this fun, fun, savage movie. And I got to be this universal soldier character where oh, I was nice. just un, unbeatable and, and un, uh, yeah, really unbeatable. It was great. But that being <laughs> said, somebody goes on there and goes, uh, uh, oh, great. Here's straight to video. Um, and I'm so like, yeah, it's a movie. Who cares? But yeah, it's a movie. At the end of the day, I got to go do something I love. Now, it's yeah. going to be on Prime, which is awesome. Amazon yeah. Prime. But but the point of his and, and the negativity is you just commented on a guy's page that just filmed a project that he's loving and stuff. And he's over there going, it's lame. And it's like, that's great. That's your point of view on it. Right. And so going back to anybody that's on here, that your fitness journey maybe your physique or where you're at right now isn't great for what you want, but it's good for what you want. It's like, Hey, I'm making the right moves. Yep. And I'm making the steps to do that. Keep posting regardless of if you're getting the hate and stuff, keep posting that stuff. Cause at the end of the day, this is you. And it, it's, I think my favorite saying right now is in no world does it work that way. When somebody comes on the page and says something, it's like, stop. You don't even have a voice in my world, son. <laughs> it, it, it don't work that way. Your your belief in what I'm doing here, or the the way I'm training, or the way I'm eating, or living as a father, it's it's like there is no voice. Um, I, I mean, I, I just you know at that point I'll challenge somebody like, all right, like, you know, at that point are you doing it better than me? Because maybe you are, and I need to learn more. And I'm all about open mind. I, you know, I'm, I'm never the type of person that says, I know it all. I'll definitely listen to somebody that has more knowledge than me or has been doing some bigger things. Than John, nobody's sure. commenting on your page that's doing better than you. And <laughs> make, right? There might be. No, there's in no way, in, in no place, no human is doing that. <laughs> if they're doing better than you, that person is freaking enjoying life, making crazy finance, enjoying right. his family or doing whatever he's doing. He's not on social media crying like a little snowflake going, oh, I could do better than, is that what you look like? I could do, cool, dude. Yeah, no, it, it, definitely. I, I don't think any show. man should be a man and start comparing themselves to other people or just bringing them down. I mean, I think we talked about this before on the podcast in Ohio where, you know, people are attacking other people and that's how they're getting their little niche views. You know, at that point, you know, that's not a real man. A real man takes care of his own, worries about his own stuff. And at that point, like if somebody gets in your way and all that, then that might be you dealing with another man. But other than that, man, you don't you don't really mess with another man old school way, because the old school way is if you did, it was it would have been in person, most likely, or you'd see him around. And at that point, it would get handled one way or the other. Now it's like, oh, you're going to get sued or the keyboard warriors are out there and all these good things. So, you know, I, I listen, I take it for a grain of salt. Like I said, if they don't have uh, like a real like 
peace in my life, right? Like you or my wife or I could care less. And honestly, I could care less if anybody comes at me. It's when they come after my family. That that's when I, I think that's when I really would get upset. Like if somebody did some Sharice or Peter or my dad, you know, and when they start attacking like something like that. And normally people don't do it online, but yeah. I'm just saying, I, you know, the comments in, in life or whatever it is, then I would definitely have problems with that for sure. So what's going on this week now for Titan Medical? Yes. All right. So this week's awesome, guys. This is a big, big one for us. And I want to share this with you guys. So when you go to Titan Medical Center, whether you want to come for peptides or you want to come for HRT, whatever it is, you're going to have to do a medical consultation because everything comes from the pharmacy. Everything is prescribed. So before you get a prescription, you have to see the medical provider. Usually that visit is anywhere between $150 for hormone replacement patients to $75 for weight loss and peptide patients. We've just lowered it down to $25. So if you want to get semi-glutide, tears epitide, all you have to do is fill out the new patient paperwork. You pay $25 and you see the medical provider. Very simple, very easy, very inexpensive. I mean, I pay my medical providers three to four times that amount per patient. So at that point, like, I'm not making any money there. I want to just make it so people have a really easy route where, you know what, they can save a little bit of money and still, you know, maybe use that for some medication on the back end if they want to, right? They can add some different things possibly, but it gives them that choice. And it's, it's like I said, it's very inexpensive. You're going to get like 30 to 45 minutes with a medical provider. I mean, you know, that doesn't even cost a dollar per minute. <laughs> and it's that's one thing. It, that's yeah. that's a gold thing to have and yes. so for anybody because again i've been here for a while and, and trying to learn and learn and learn and i still got questions and i still learn stuff every time i do a a blood work then there's new questions added uh that i got to try to do okay what else you got uh the titan fat burning cream that's the therapy there you week. go it's a topical, you add it on, it's all prescription uh, based uh, ingredients. And at that point, it's going to help tighten the area, shrink the fat cells uh, below the skin, make it a more aesthetically pleasing look all the way around, getting rid of the cellulite in that area too, if you're using the back of the legs or whatever it may be. It's great, guys can use it, girls can use it, you can use it in different fashions. On your arms, maybe it's the back of your arms, maybe it's underneath your neck. I, I've had a lot of people use it in a lot of different ways. It doesn't burn you, so like some of the over-counter products that yeah. are supposed to do this, they burn patients or they feel like they're getting burnt. This is not gonna happen with this. And this is, like I said, this is all prescribed ingredients. It's nothing that you get just over the counter. So way better as far as that goes. So yeah, so if you want the Titan fat burning cream, you just get $25 visit and you can buy the cream and you get that a discount too as well. That's and I got that notification. I think it was Monday morning. Yeah. Uh, Cause I'm on the email list and the email list guys, I, I recommend just getting on the Titan medical email list. Cause you're going to get information about this and then you can do your own research to yep. really answer the questions. But again, um, I think it's awesome. I think it's awesome what you're doing. And then I got to say that uh, this last week I got to step away uh, and, and go relax. And it really did um, bring back that Monday morning workout to a different height. Good. Um, and then we just are launching a, a new workout program, a new 12 week workout program. And so nice. it's an additional nice little amp up. So I'm refreshed. All right. Uh, uh, I got to enjoy myself. And now we're back to it in four and a half weeks out. And so it's like, oh, this is cool. And right yeah. back into the early mornings, I want to jump back into just for a sec, because the early mornings, uh, uh, I've always been a, a, a 4 a.m. guy since mm -hmm. since the paper route days. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we'd get up and we, we'd uh, get a workout in, do the paper route, all the boys, and, and actually a couple of my sisters that had paper routes, and then come back, train again, and then go to school. This is starting very, very young. Mm -hmm. And I did that through my whole career, and I loved it. And this whole COVID thing in 2000, uh, 2020 when everything shut down threw me way out of whack. <sighs> yeah. And now I'm back to that nice 5 a.m. in the morning. And yesterday, like you said, by, by 10 or 11, I'm like, holy shnikes. I got my day 
pretty much done and I'm ready. It's like, this is great. Yeah. And so it's it for success. The combination of all of it is it, the week off, uh, and it's hard for me to take a week off um, and and uh, coming back to it and doing everything like this. So we are getting ready, and I know that we are also going to be at the Olympia. Oh yeah, I can't wait for that. Not that far. No, it's not in October, man. I mean, we're a couple months yeah, away. I mean, basically, thirteen weeks. I, I I maxed it out the other day, and I go, oh wow, it was fourteen weeks last week. Yep. So if you guys are going, we're ready. Yeah. We're going to have a 20 by 30 uh, location this year. So last year we had a 20 by 20. And we had some other ones with the car and stuff like that. We're just going to consolidate into one. So we'll have a big 20, 30. And I got to set that stage up and stuff like that. So I'm trying to I'm trying to get with those guys right now to make sure I have all that. And then the print of pictures, how it's going to look. I've never done anything to this scale of what we're right. going to try to do this year. So I'm really happy. I and mean, it's always an evolution every year of what we do. But, you know, what we did last year was amazing. Mike killed it. And at that point, if we could set it up where it's a little bit, you know, on a stage and – a little more pictures of everybody there you know i think it'll be i think it'll be a winner but i've already got some of the cars one of the cars right I there. can't what I, what am i gonna do i'm gonna ship it all the way there oh, i was thinking no. about it i'm like no maybe, no jeff says car there jeff will go out pick that mclaren up and drive it to vegas <laughs> if he has to do <laughs> it he <laughs> just McLaren, it's yeah uh, i'm sure it twists his arm yeah that's going to be a tough one to lock him on that one. <laughs> oh man, that would be that would be an amazing driving experience. I've never driven a car like the McLaren S or 750S. There's no car that drives like the driving experience. You feel like so attached to the road and like inverted in the car. It's like it's, it's cool. best way to describe it. You just yeah. you described it perfectly. Yeah, it was like really the first cool. time I ever drove a, a Lambo or a McLaren. It was like, oh, I get it now. Yeah. <laughs> it was just like just a oh, little yeah. it, i got the big suv i could do this all day and i'm staying straight right yeah with a lambo or a McLe yeah you're going oh yeah it's precise for sure and that thing's a rocket i'm telling you it's, it's super fast guys super all right fast. so oh, if we man. can't have the car there maybe yeah so we'll, we'll keep talking I, but, I, but definitely stage Oh no, for sure. That's that's why I got the bigger uh, area. I was like, you know, I was like, we could have like you know, a ten foot area of like stage, and then the twenty twenty is our regular booth or whatever Dang. it is, and have those yeah. on the ground and stuff like that. So I've already got the girls. I've already got the outfits. Like it's gonna, we're gonna kill it um, this weekend. We've got our you know Tampa Bay uh, swim week. So at that point, like we're the presenting sponsors putting on the event and um, we're like one of the top designers in it. So I've got some of the outfits that some of these girls are going to be wearing at Olympia. Like just they're going to knock your socks off. So wait till after this week and when I show you this content from what's going to be going on. It's yeah, again, I, I, I feel feel bad for you on that stuff. I know that the bathing suits and those girls, <laughs> those, those uh, Florida girls, it's a tough yeah. gig. Again. Jeff is offering to help <laughs> and come on down. From you, you don't, you go home, relax. He'll, he'll handle the content. He'll, Carl's the, women. the women. Yeah. The painful stuff. <laughs> <laughs> See, I need, I, Jeff, we need to get you guys out here to Florida and then we can do this on the, every week. I mean, if we have to do it on yeah. the beach. Yeah. And I have to twist you guys arm on the next oh, trip. Yeah. He's coming with. Okay. <laughs> next trip. He's coming with. Yeah. Cause, cause there's a, there's a, when when I was shooting just that last five ten minutes with you, yeah. uh, on the car, I was like, oh, the stuff I was seeing in my head. Yes, you know, that's what I'm saying. We'll have and, a good little layout. Um, back to uh, Titan Medical for a second here. I want to go over. So you got the providers. I sit down with the provider. Yep. Twenty five bucks. Go over all that information. So that's twenty five. We have the lotion that's going on right now for this yep. week. Yep. Um, Let's jump into HRT. So uh, I want to go with the, I, I guess, the reality first. And, and we have time, don't we? We yeah, have, yeah. We, we're not in we rush. Plenty of time. Okay, good. So I want to talk about the things. Uh, it doesn't seem like, I don't see a lot of it. I don't see a lot of people saying, um, this is why you should do HRT. I don't see that they're going, there's, there's so many 
negativities of having low testosterone. Right. Um, and so just can, if you go into that a little bit about yeah. a guy that's in a woman that's going around with low T, all the, all the different things that could possibly over time and the short term things. Sure. Sure. So, you know, it's not something that just happens to you overnight. So you just don't wake up and oh, I have low testosterone and you start feeling it. It's over time. So you might not feel like, oh, I have something wrong with me. I just feel like this because I'm getting old and this is how it's supposed yeah. to feel, right? So when we start thinking about some of these different things that affect us, because we talk about this all the time, men and women both have the exact same hormones, just at different levels. So at that point, like when we talk about like hormone problems, we can talk about sexual function. So sex drive, not wanting to have sex with your partner, um, being unmotivated, being depressed. I mean, this is something that could happen, you know, from short term to long term and, and keep going on. Um, physical changes inside the body, um, you know, so one sugar levels could be affected by this metabolism and adding more body fat on the body too, as well. Um, after that, you know, we talk about brain function, cognitive thinking, um, not being able to think, not being able to memorize things. I mean, there's different things that come along with this. Short-term memory can be affected. Long-term memory can be affected. Um, whew, man, there's so many other things. Sleep, sleep functions can be affected by hormones too, as well. Um, you know, and if we're talking about all hormones, I mean, we can start really getting into a lot of different things, but I'm basically going off of HRT hormones, which are like testosterone, progesterone, estrogen, and, and growth hormone levels. I mean, that's kind of what we want to look at in the meat and potatoes there. But yeah, I mean, if, if you're experiencing any of these things, then, you know, you probably have a hormone deficiency or something's off, right? Something's out of balance because it doesn't just happen with one person where, or everybody where, yeah, they just get low testosterone. Like some people get, as they get older, they get low testosterone and then they have high estrogen levels. And then gynecomastia can happen naturally with them. And things can be affected by other medications that have been, been taken too as well. So there's a lot of things that go into play with this and go into play with hormones and um, HRT and the negative effects that these things, and we're talking about ma mainly testosterone, would be like, you know, before they were like, all right, if you take testosterone, you're going to get a heart attack. You're going to get a blood clot, DVT, stroke. Um, you're going to have roid rage. You're going to be aggressive and, and, and you're going to have acne all over your back and your face and your chest and all these different things. So these are all myths to a certain extent. I mean, cardiovascular, we know cardiovascular health definitely improves on health, natural healthy testosterone levels. Energy is going to improve. Cognitive function is going to improve. Sexual function is going to improve, right? Quality of life is going to improve. And that's what it really comes down to longevity and how long you can feel that good for that that period of time so you know that's the real goal to live as long as you possibly can and feel as good as you possibly can every day because if you feel like garbage every single day you're probably not going to want to you know you're not going to want to do your best and you're not going to stick around for as long as you possibly can because other things will break down inside the body as we break down and that's what we do when we age we start breaking down um you know we're on the decline that's what happens so you know, with people out there that I, I think they'll get major benefits from hormone replacement therapy if they really need it, with this both males and females. And if you're properly getting monitored, then you're not going to have the negative side effects that you might hear about out there. And there are negative side effects that can happen. There's a, kind of a, I know you've been doing this for a while. And so it, it seems to me what I'm hearing is an avalanche of things. And, they talk about longevity and um, some wild stuff. Great, great point of view on things. Uh, the studies talking about the when you're getting older and you start losing that muscle, and that can be because you're low T's um, and you're not exercising, you're not eating right, you're doing these things. You even speed that process of aging up even faster. Now, this is great. Uh, it's not great. But if you know it, it's great. Again, anything information-wise is beneficial. Because of the uh, the lack and the loss of leg muscles, you stop going out as much. You stop hanging out with friends as much. You stop moving as much. And so you're just compounded 
this whole thing, you're already losing the muscle. Now you're sitting at home and not doing other things and you're speeding up the process of aging. So I know that you, you say, so like for you guys at home, if you're listening to this, loss of muscle is not just, it's, it's a big one. It's not one of these things like, oh, well, I can lose some muscle, you know, it, I could lose some muscle. I'm 280 pounds. I, <laughs> I, I, I would rather wait until something unfortunate happens to where I lose muscle instead of me just going and cutting back on the muscle. Uh, I'm keeping as much as I possibly can as long as I can, knowing that that not just weightlifting is true longevity, but the mm -hmm. fact that I get to fight off any unfortunate things. You know, this is our one life. We're all checking out at some point, but I would like to go out with a battle um, and like to stay in this. And so, again, mm -hmm. another aspect of low T is, yes, losing muscle. Yeah, but think, about this, but think about the fact that if you're low T, you're getting fatter, mm -hmm. you're losing muscle, mm -hmm. it's the way life works, right? Mm -hmm. You're going to the gym going, hey, I'm going to fight against this. I'm going to go against it. And now I'm going to push. So, so we all love that. We all love that person that's motivated and stuff like that. Right. And then how long do you pound your head against the wall doing that? Because your body's not functioning correctly. That's frustrating. I, I, mean, I, I like to see changes every couple of weeks. And so it's frustrating to me if I don't see it. Now imagine the person, their body is not working with them. Mm -hmm. And they're pushing as hard mm -hmm. as any of us. Mm -hmm. and they're not changing i mean that i'm assuming that is what you see a lot of a ton a ton and there's a lot of people out there that are the example that you gave they're like all right i'm gonna go do this and then they go out and they start training they start getting a good nutritional diet and they start saying so they're doing everything that we want them to do and then at that point they're not getting the result or it's coming around real slow or they plateau at a result and then they just start getting frustrated. Like, why isn't this working for me? I'm doing this, I'm doing this, I'm doing this, and I'm not getting the result. And that's what it really does come down to. You might be fighting an uphill battle like you're talking about. Like, you know, if something's off, you're not going to do your best. Your body is not going to give you the best result. For you to think that, you're, you're lying to yourself if you, if you do think that. So, you know, it's I always come back to the cars. You know, if you have a car that is perfectly balanced out, everything is running tip top, car is going to do the best lap it possibly can on the track if it something is off it's not going to run its best on the track and you're going to have a slower lap time so think about that and and, and relate it to life you know if you're on on point everything's working you're energized you're thinking properly you're, you're going to be more successful and you're going to be able to do more things in that day probably than somebody that is the opposite they don't feel good. They have low energy. They're fatigued all the time. They have short fuse or they're very irritable. You know, that's something that people don't want to be around either. You know, I mean, that's, that's the other thing about it. You know, it's like, uh, there's so many different things, but once people recognize that they do have it and a lot of people might not, but when they see it on the blood test and they're like, Oh my God, I have an issue. Or I have a problem here, or I have something I can fix. And then we fix them. It's, it's a game changer. It's a, it's a, it's a life changer. You know, for anybody that really does have low T, if once you get on a right program and everything is balanced out correctly, it's going to be a game changer, man. Most of me. So uh, this is about optimizing your health. This isn't just about, um, I guess, in a sense, because you have the peptides, you have the amino acids, you have all these different things, the Hercules potion. That, yes. Again, you got these things. There is hope. For everybody that's out there that's going, I just feel off. I feel yeah. that. I'm going to stay on the harsh reality of this for a second, a little further. This, again, will be the top 10 on the basic things that happen. And then a secondary thing that's going to be a little shocking to all of you. So I'm going to pull. All right, you big stud. Let's go. Yeah, do you want me to read uh, some of the basic stuff? The, the ah. basic, it clarifies exactly what right. Johnny said. Yeah, you guys, and yeah, you guys talked about it. Uh, reduced libido, who wants that? Erectile right. dysfunction, fatigue, low energy levels, loss of muscle mass, uh, increased body fat, 
decreased bone density, mood changes, uh, cognitive decline, hair loss, bad sleep. So those are just 10 kind of basic ones. Mm -hmm. now the, the harsh reality yeah and then and then here's some stuff that's you know you dig a little bit deeper and you go later down the line this is cardiovascular disease um type 2 diabetes metabolic syndrome osteoporosis anemia obesity depression anxiety alzheimer's disease chronic fatigue syndrome and sexual dysfunction mm -hmm. disorders. so wow. Thanks, Jeffrey. Appreciate that. That's that's a that's a hit to the gut. That's a that's a body blow. Um, the bone density one, yeah, is yeah. Again, um, hopefully this helps you guys out there. So if somebody says, "Well, why are you going to go over there to talk to Titan Medical? What would be the point? Are you going to be a bodybuilder? Uh, no, I'm going to be healthy." Type two diabetes. Yeah, and that, that's another big one for osteoporosis. If people don't realize that, it's like, uh, like you know, like when you see an older person and you're like, damn, like my grandpa used to be like this tall and it, it's because osteoporosis and the bone density is shrinking. So, you know, it's a big one in females too as well. But the good thing is, is when you come on testosterone placement therapy, it, it alleviates that. You won't go through osteoporosis. That's the best thing. You can combat a lot of different things, especially anemia too, as well. So there's a lot of different things you can combat with having good, healthy, optimal testosterone levels. And if you let it go, you're just going to decline even faster. So Jeff, think about said, that. Jeff said uh, type two diabetes. That that's yeah. got to be that's got to be a, that's an ugly one because the the yeah. stuff that comes from that, everything that happens to the body on that, it is. Well, yeah. Are right. It's like how many people are already pre-diabetic and then you keep going Jordy. down that road. All right. So if you guys call up Titan Medical, tell them uh, you, you saw today's episode and you got to get straight forward, uh, moving forward and, and doing what needs to be done here and take care of your health to the fullest. And then like John said, again, go over the uh, medical provider and the cream this week because it's always cool when you oh, get yeah. the, the therapy it's cool it's definitely cool the type fat burning cream works for everybody it's super cool super easy mm -hmm. it goes on really nice it's not sticky so you can utilize it anywhere you want you know guys girls like i said it works for both so i've had both both utilize it in every way shape or form you could possibly think of mike just don't, don't, uh, yeah, nothing. I wouldn't use it down low. Yeah, I don't, it. <laughs> you don't need that grip. <laughs> um, the one thing I noticed that through the years, you know, I've been doing this so long, we used to use Preparation H yeah. um, back in the early 80s. Uh, to, and yes, we yeah. put that on our bodies. And then yeah. we would do the whole wrestling thing where we would uh, we do the Epsom salt bath uh, the night before the show. Then we would do um, the preparation H, and then we'd put the garbage sacks over us to just suck out any more water. Yeah, yeah that's what I was doing at 13, 14 years old. And my mom and dad are like, you're crazy, but let's do it. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but now we got this cream, and I'm sensitive. My skin is ridiculous um, sensitive. And so it's cool. that I've been using this cream now. I just got it for the first week. So, yes. um, yeah. Yeah. No rashes, nothing like that. That was one of the big things for me because I'll, yeah. I'll hit it twice a day. Okay. I'll do that morning workout and put it on. I put I'll I'll, uh, I'll put, put a scream on. on. I put it yeah a belt uh, a a girdle or whatever you want to call it, a scream. Yep. Yep. And then I'll, I'll put a shirt over, um, but I have it right against the skin with the scream and. Yep. Then I'll do it later in the day for the second uh, workout. So, and again, no, no rashes or anything. Super cool. So yeah, so Saran Wrap, if you want to do the cheap route for people that are out there, you can utilize that. Get a screen, put it on. Another thing um, you can do is, is you can put it on the night before. You got a photo shoot. So it's working the whole night. 
So they're just sitting there. So you can utilize that. There's a couple of different things you can do with that cream, but yeah, it's, 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 like I said, I, we get really good results for it, especially with the girls and stuff like that or guys that use it. So usually I guess guys are using the abdomen area for where you have great abs because it's just to find those abs even better and dehydrating those areas out where you really want them to. So it's really cool. I'm a big, I'm a big proponent of the Epsom salt bass. I like, I like the Epsom salt bass. Crazy. Yeah. What it, how it works is yeah. Amazing. Yeah. What do we have? Uh, for questions, let's finish up with some good questions. Ooh, yeah. <clears throat> Jeff, I, I did see right one now. from Bobo. Bobo uh, had a good question. question? Was it a good question? No. It was. It was. Or it was, was a question. It, or was it offering his services for any no. kind of uh, driving and uh, ladies? <laughs> So he talks about his PSA on here, right? So he says, my PSA level came back today. It raised to 5.3 from a 4.3 six months ago. But I forgot I did crank one out yesterday morning before my text. So maybe that was why it was elevated. So this is this could possibly be why it was elevated. It, you know, when you start, you can do ejaculation in any way, shape, or form, whether yourself or you have a partner, it's going to raise your PSA. It's going to enlarge your prostate a little bit. So they usually tell people before the blood test, do not have sex between 24 and 48 hours or don't do it yourself, whatever it is. And this is why. And if you have a problem with your PSA, I would not be messing around. I would, I would definitely do as you're supposed to as far as the testing to see what's going on there. And if it stays elevated like that, then obviously there's an infection of the prostate or, you know, this could be something more advanced per se or serious, um, like prostate cancer or anything like that. But I don't want to scare people because there are people that come back at a 5.3 or a 6 and they were regular before and like, oh, my God, like I got prostate cancer. I'm like, hold on, like, let's get you checked out. And I literally had people get checked out in the whole nine and not have prostate cancer. And then them get on an antibiotic, bring down their PSA too as well. So, you know, there's different things that are out there that, that might be causing this problem. But the best way to do this or to find out what the problem is, is to test correctly and then see what goes on in that test. If it's training up, training down, and, and trying to figure out what the problem is. And it, listen, do the finger test because that's the only real test. They, all, they do have a, another test that, that's approved now. It's like a stool test. Um, but I, I'm just, I would go old school if you really have a problem or health history with something like this, um, and see what's going on. It's, it's just, it's not worth it not to, you know? Yeah. That's, that's one you don't skip. No, definitely not. What do we got? Um, Let's go. You got it. Read Trading frenzy. Up. All right. So I just started TRT a month ago. Test, ATG, DHEA, Pregnol. I'm 51 years old with 344 test level. The third week. My blood pressure shot up to 175 or 101. And it usually is normal. Should I just try test alone? No, definitely not. So we're looking at this, right? And it all seems fine and dandy. He's got testosterone. So he's, he's replacing the testosterone. He's got ACG. So he's he's got the gonadal support. So his natural function is not shut down. And, you know, he, he's getting better, better erection, sensitivity and all that. Uh, and then we're taking DHEA, which is a sex hormone they can get over the counter, which usually you never have to mess with because once you go on testosterone, it raises natural DHEA levels. So that's something I would not even throw in the mix in the beginning for a patient and pregnenolone. So if you test pregnenolone and this is low, then you possibly could substitute. But again, the first thing to do is, is replace testosterone levels. Great. You've got the ACG. You're missing one valid essential component to this and that's going to be your aromatized inhibitor your nastrozole what's happening to you right now is it's not the test what's happening is the test you're intaking and now it's converting and now it's converting to estrogen right and dht dht possibly but your blood pressure rising is because of water retention and that's because your estrogen is high guarantee guarantee and if you just go on just test alone it's going to get even worse or it's going to stay the same and you're going to have other issues. So at that point, you need an aromatized inhibitor to go with your testosterone replacement therapy. And any provider that tells you not, I would definitely question that provider. And anybody that says, just wait till you have symptoms to start is, is another one I'd question like, hey, what the hell is going on here? Like the whole point of getting on these programs is to prevent or minimize 
any possible negative side effect and giving you what you need to optimize. So that's just something for me to you. I, I, I see this a million times. I get this a million questions. And this is the problem because if you stay on this regimen, one, aesthetically, you're going to look like you're going to look like a round tomato on the face, right? And that round look, that juicer look that you don't want. With this, you want to make sure this is dialed in. You'll look a lot better. You won't hold the water. And the problem is, is with your blood pressure staying up like this, it could cause other health issues to the body, like negative effects to the kidneys. That's the silent killers is high blood pressure, right? And diabetes type two. Those will kill your kidneys. Your renal failures will go down like crazy. That's what happened to my dad. So I'm very, very like, I, I like to educate people on this and tell them, hey, listen, this is something you really need to look at and it's not something to play around with. I thought playing around with blood pressure before, like before all this, because my dad's always been on blood pressure medication. I'm like, so what? Blood pressure runs a little high or I'm a little high strong or whatever it is. But then you start looking at what can really start happening. You're like, oh shit, I better, I better take control of this. And literally, like, you'll be in real fa renal failure faster than you think if you don't control your blood pressure, for sure. And that's what happens to most bodybuilders out there that I see. It's an amazing thing uh, that what time does. Right. Even though it's it's right and high for a day or two, okay, we're good. Yeah, but when it's right and high for the next 10, 15, 20 years. Yeah. Yeah, it's, I just, yeah, it's not worth it. Um, something that I thought was interesting was, uh, he said, is it three weeks? Yes. Three weeks. He's been doing this. Yeah. So where would be a testing? Cause for him, his, his blood pressure obviously shot through crazy. Yeah. Yep. Would that be when you would call the provider and tell yep. them this? And, and yep. would you do, uh, could he do another blood work? Absolutely. To see where sure. things are kind of uh, sure. off. Sure. So standard protocol and procedure for something like this, if this guy was a patient training frenzy and he called up and say, Hey, listen, you know, I, my blood pressure is always usually normal. Now it's high. Now we would give you an aromatized inhibitor. So probably wouldn't have this issue. But if you did have an issue per se, and you're like, Hey, listen, something feels off. I feel very lethargic. I'm having ED still. I don't really feel the energy I should from this. Then we're going to send you in for a blood test right away. Not a full in depth one. Like you don't need all the other tests to go along with it. That'd be great. We can look at it. But if, let's save you some money, right? Let's just get what we need. So we, we test free and total testosterone levels and we test estradiol levels. And we see exactly where those things are at. And then listen, if it's too much aromatized inhibitor, we back it off. If it's not enough, we increase it a little bit, right? And usually the dose of testosterone, usually these guys are going to be balling, you know, because I mean, we don't really underdose people with like 100 milligrams or something like that. It's usually going to be 150, 200 to 300 milligrams. So they're usually balling in, the, in those, those categories. But it's usually the estrogen that's the problem. Um, and with us, like majority of our patients, like because they all start with aromatized inhibitor, never have this problem. They never do. And if they do, it, it, you know, it's it's a one off. And like I said, you might have to lower it down or you might have to give them more. There are some people out there that need different aromatized inhibitors. It's most commonly for patients to use an astrazole, Remedex. But some patients actually do need letrozole or romicin. And these are very, very uh, high powered aromatized inhibitors, especially letrozole. It's like a suicide. It's called a suicide aromatized inhibitor. It kills it on contact. Like it's just, it will kill all, all the estrogen in the body. And you don't want that. Yeah. That's bad. That doesn't help you grow any tissue in the body. You know, everybody thinks kill all estrogen, raise all testosterone levels. No, dude. That's why I always say harmonic balance. These things have to be balanced out and working together to get you the result and to get you feeling good and to, you know, all the way around working optimally. So, yeah, it's just, it, it, a lot of patients don't know this, so it's not trading frenzy's fault that he doesn't know why he's getting this negative side effect and he should be on aromatized inhibitor and stuff like that. I think That's you just where, you just hit it out of the park because my thought here is this whole list of people that are watching here, all that we've got a great crowd here watching, they're not all Titan medical people. And so they could be somewhere else, or they could unfortunately, if they are in a couple places that we know, right. Yeah, um, they may be getting the wrong information because the, the other places are trying to charge. Right. Or they're, they're talking to the local gym buffed guy, you know. Yeah. And so it's great that you asked this question today. And then for, for sure. anybody else out there, if you're, if you're not with Titan Medical and you're with somebody else and you want to ask, I, 
my recommendation is ask questions. Keep mm -hmm. asking questions, but go to different people that are qualified. Mm -hmm. Don't ask the gym mm -hmm. jack guy. Don't don't mm -hmm. do that kind of stuff. But but mm -hmm. talk to a a uh, one of the wellness providers. And this week is great because you could do that for nothing. Twenty five bucks. Medical. Twenty five bucks. Dude. So he just saved twenty five bucks because he just got the information right from yes. the CEO. So yes. Uh, Thank you for hanging out. We just we just tipped you that twenty five right there. Um, yes. <laughs> anybody else out there? That's what today's about. Today's about helping you guys out and making sure you guys are doing this right. Yes. And Jeff's points, just clarifying and, and a carbon copy of what John talked about. Basic things that happen if you're low T, but the things that are down the road because you ride that low T for a lifetime. Mm -hmm. That's an ugly future. Um, sorry about the harsh reality of that, guys, but I kind of wanted you guys today, especially today, just to kind of go, okay, I need to take control of my life. Guys, it's awesome because, like I said, 12 years ago, it was a lot harder to take control of your life in this aspect. Nobody knew they could get the testing of hormones. Nobody knew mm -hmm. they could get testosterone, why they would need testosterone or any other hormone replacement therapy except for postmenopausal women. You know, So at that point, like, it's, it's a serious thing for us masculinity makes a man would you agree with that mike um i, th I thought it was the pain yes <laughs> and, and the genitals, I'm, I'm and the genitals. yeah yeah the, I, gen the gender and the masculinity so I, I understand so masculinity can be given to somebody else like if you inject testosterone to women and you inject it men doses they're going to become more masculine right I've been you start giving, <laughs> I mean, think about it. I mean, I've been around some, some girls that are taking a thousand milligrams of testosterone and these girls look like they're taking a thousand milligrams of testosterone. So, you know, you get that. But my point to it is like, you're a man, you're supposed to be masculine. The masculine hormone in your body is testosterone. And we have a higher level than that than a female does naturally. So at that point, like you don't want to lose out on that. That's what makes you a male. That's what makes you a man. I mean, not in the aspect of providing anything like that, but I'm talking about your your, your biology. Your, your, you know, your your body is made up of these different things, but it is ran on a masculine function. Most of us, anyway, I, I think as males, it should be. But, uh, you know, you have a lot of people out there that have low testosterone levels and they act like it too. They do. Dominaire subs. You can pick. That's how we do it. Do you see anything else over there, Johnny? No, no, I'm good. I think I think everybody's. I don't know. Yep. I think we're good. For HRT, the Clomid is it every day? That was a question on one of my pages. So Clomid can be given every day for HRT, yes, or it can be given every other day. It's really up to what the provider provided for you. But um, I would look at the thing, or if you have any questions and you are a patient, just call or text us, and we'll give you an answer right away. And the Clomed would be to help keep the free alive or your natural ability? No, actually, Clomiphene will, will raise total testosterone and free testosterone in a natural patient. Or if you utilize it with HRT, what it does is, is it keeps on the natural production. So the testes never go on vacation. They're, they're duped into, hey, listen, we need to keep working. So semen production stays up and testosterone stays where it's at. Um, but there are patients out there. Like I got, I got this one guy and I'll, I'll introduce you. This guy's out in LA. He's been on Netflix shows. He came and visited me through some uh, other friend last week, but he's 25 years old. He had like a 500 testosterone. He didn't really want to go on testosterone, but he really wanted to raise his levels. And his free was a 10. So yeah. So he, you know, he was feeling a little bit. So they put him on in clomiphene and anastrozole. So at that point, like, you know, it's, I think he's like a week or two in, and he's already starting to feel better from it. So, Good for you know, it, it, it can be for people that, that are more like younger and need more of a natural try to kick on. And it could help them if you're young enough, I guess, you know, as far as that, you have an abuse and a box. So how long would it take for him? Uh, would it be the three month and then test again? Or could yeah, you could, a you six could. week, would it already do something within six weeks? Yes. It would. What is, what is a HRT? Is there a discovery of, oh, it's been six weeks. I do feel better. Or, or is we, it more? We told them within with the first 30 days. 
So at that point, it really depends too, right? So if you have somebody that's injecting testosterone, it's an ester, so it's going to release time release. So it's, whether it's one day, three days, five to seven days. So you have that kind of waiting period right there. But if it's like per se, a patient might be taking a clomiphene or might even be put on a cream daily or a trochee in their mouth, that's immediate. I mean, you spike up immediately and then it starts working its way down. So if you take one of the oral trochees, the sublingual trochees, usually we tell a patient to take half in the morning and half in the afternoon. That way it's not spiked in the morning so high and then keeps going down in the afternoon. They're all tired. If they take half in the morning, half in the afternoon, it's going to be even keel, but their levels will be up. That's why you have to, with the cream and the, the orals, you have to take it every day because it's not something that's inside the system, injectable, oil-based or anything like that. So, well, I think it was great. Well, thank you for today, Johnny. Some great insight. And again, uh, for you guys that are out there doing your your journey on getting in shape, uh, like me and Johnny said at the beginning, when it comes to social media, just just do it. Stay yeah, you. Bro. Yeah. Don't worry about uh, uh, the negative stuff. Just block it. Block them. Yeah. Move on. You don't need them. Yeah. Um, but do take, take photos. Take uh, note checks because you're going to – I think everybody – what do they say? They say uh, you'll give up all your money in 15 years to be as young as you are right now. Absolutely. And, and, and to feel as healthy as you are right now. So just start taking advantage of life, man. Start getting motivated, start getting going. And then if you want my help, we're starting a new workout program on Monday oh, yeah. um, and get over to Titan medical and talk to a provider today, 25 bucks. Can't beat that. And if you're a patient, right? Like you're a previous patient, you can pay for your six month appointment in the future for the 25 bucks now if you sign up. So like you go, like, hey, listen, I got to get my, you know, my 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 bi month or bi yearly examination consultation out of the way. Then just pay for 25 bucks now. It goes to the credit your chart, and you already have it. So when that visit comes, you already paid for it, and you save a ton of money doing it. The, the last thing I want to say is we got to figure out now, it'd be like Smokey and the Bandit, I guess. Uh, we'll get Bobo and Jeff to go out there, get the McLaren and one of the Lambos or whatever, the Corvette, and yeah. and, and, and get those things to Vegas on time. Woo! <laughs> Woo! On his face, he's like, no, that ain't going to happen. I was thinking about, honestly, like running one exotic out there and wrapping it or just throwing on like the Titan logo, like on the side or something like that. So I'm trying to see if I can do that and see how that would work out logistically, if I can get it done. Just another thing, you know, I just got to add to the plate. I can't wait, though. This is going to be – I'm excited about it. Oh, it's going to be epic, for yeah, sure. Yeah. For sure. We'll be popping the top. We got to figure out, like, uh, it was one year uh, I did an appearance. It was uh, the Arnold Classic, and it was for Muscle Meg, Robert mm -hmm. Kennedy. Mm -hmm. And what they did was it was great booth because of the fact that it was again a ramp up, um, and then they had a fake cover behind us, so it oh, said wow. Muscle Mag, and so we have that kind of set up. It's an open spot to where we stand, and then right above mm -hmm. it, Titan Medical, like mm -hmm. a magazine cover, and then you take a photo, mm -hmm. and they print it out right there, and there, there's their eight by ten. Oh, Boom. Wow. yeah, yeah. That would be cool. Ideas, ideas. Keep throwing ideas towards us, folks. What would you yes. like to do? Come by the Titan Medical booth uh, in Vegas. What hotel? So it, 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 the the convention itself will be at the convention center. Convention center. And, and the host hotel will be resorts. So it's like Resort World. That's what it's called. And it has like three or four different resorts in it. It's got some of the best nightclubs. It's brand new. Like I've been there like two or three times already. Um, it's a really nice location for Olympia to be in this year, which is really nice. 60th okay. year anniversary of the Olympia this year too. Yeah. Oh, you show me. Okay. Yeah, it's nice. We will it be is. having breakfast at Bagel Mania on Sunday uh, in Vegas. And then uh, – We'll probably have pink box donuts at the booth so we can get a little sugar. <laughs> yes. Mo here. We gotta we gotta let Steve know that yeah, we gotta we gotta have like some pink box donuts at the booth. You guys come by, Hell yeah. get a cool photo, uh, Hell hang yeah. out with us, and then we'll do a little uh Titan Medical uh team 
yeah. breakfast uh, yeah. Sunday morning at the best restaurant you're going to yeah. go to for breakfast, uh, that Bagel Mania there in Vegas. Yeah. Can't wait. Uh, I love it, guys. Thank you, Johnny, for hanging, brother. I appreciate, man. Always, always, always a great time with you, man. So I really appreciate you and everybody else that joined us in. Thank you so much. And th and, and get started on your page, personal I am. page. I am. And everybody, go over and follow this man because he yeah. really does. You think I should change my name? I made it all hard with my last name first and my first initial afterwards. I should just call it like Titan John or something, something of that aspect. So it's a lot easier. What we'll do is, is, is we'll talk. We'll ask Boba what he thinks. Okay. Um, he's not making one out right now. And then <laughs> we'll get back to you. Throw, you, throw your name up there. Get get Peter on there as well. I will. He's already got his. I just got to change it up. Make sure. I, and then I got to start moderating that and start posting out for him because he don't post. That, that, he's, it yeah. scrolls. He's, I'm yeah, like, what are you doing, scrolls. bro? I'm like, you should be making money if you're doing this. I'm like, what, what the hell is going on here? That's the truth <laughs> of it. You know, uh, my Instagram is T S I K O U R I S J. So it's my last name first and my first initial. If anybody wants to come find me on Instagram and you can find them on my page. Yeah. All right. Thanks brother. Later, I'll yes, check sir. you later. Have a good one.